What's going on YouTube? My name is Clark Bishop. I'm here back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the 18 and 35 Sigma art lens and why I think it should be your first high price budget lens you should buy. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into it. Again, my name is Clark Bishop and before I tell you what lens to buy and what you should be doing with your money, let me tell you who I am. I'm a content creator. I make content for different clothing brands and also make a lot of music videos. So I do a lot of running game music videos and I do a lot of content video just for different people around the city and trying to express their brand. I got my own company, it's called Go Take Media and it's kind of expressing personal brands and telling stories. So I need a lens that's quite versatile and a lens that's pretty good at the same time. So my best bet was to get this 18 to 35, which is on a crop sensor lens. It's around uh, 27 to 54, I believe. So that's a great focal length. It's wide enough and it's tight enough to get those good cinematic shots that we're all looking for. So let's get straight into it. Um, this lens right here, without further ado, if it gets in focus, yeah, there you go. It's a beast, man. It's kind of, it got good weight to it. So whatever like mirrorless camera you use is going to add a little bit of weight to your handheld shots and it's going to make your footage look that much better. Um, we can just talk about uh, photography first. So also do a lot of photo shoots and I like to take pictures. Every I feel like every person that does video loves steals for some reason. Like most of us that got into uh, filmmaking probably was a photographer at first. This thing's work works great. The autofocus on it is pretty good. Uh, it captures focus almost 90% of the time, and I just love the variety and the quality I get from the uh, lens. Uh, it's not like some of my prime lenses. I feel like the glass is just a little bit better because you pay that extra extra bit of money for this lens. Uh, lens I think it goes out at like around $600, but. With the adapter you got to get, I got the Sony adapter for the Sony camera, it's an extra two, so it almost hits it like it's a market value price when it first came out around $800 just from that, so if you think you're going to get a deal on it, you're not, because I thought I had a deal. But again, like in photography, I use it for photo shoots, I use it just for uh, street shooting. This is a great lens, and I like love it for photography, but on the other side of video, I love it too, uh, but the autofocus doesn't work at all. Um, it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, if, is it because of the adapter? But with photography it works, but the autofocus doesn't work at all. So that's a fair warning. You got to get good at your manual manual focusing skills. When I do music videos, I tend not to use autofocus anyway because it's just a crazy thing when you like doing a video and your camera's trying to find focus and it just looks terrible and it kind of looks unprofessional. So. I'm trying to get into using manual focus more and with this like wide lens, it's wide enough to almost have everything in focus so you don't even have to worry about that. It's just when you crop into like that 35 or equivalent 54, it kind of gets a little dicey and you got to find your focus. But with the focus ring on this one, it's pretty, I'm making a lot of noise. It's pretty impressive and it, and it got like a nice smooth range and the focus meter right there. Yeah, I got a nice range on it, and it's really not that hard to use. If you get a nice uh, monitor that shows what's in focus, you'll be all good. I've been using it for over six months now, and I love it, and I kind of adapt to the manual focus. I was a little hurt at first, but hey, you can't beat it. But other than that, that's just my two cents on this lens. I just wanted to tell you guys, if you were thinking about getting the next kind of expensive lens, uh, you should go for this 18-35. to 35. The 18-35 is gonna like be a true game changer. It's gonna help you a lot on your set with the versatility and just the quality of the lens. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a like, hit a comment, give me a subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and there's gonna be more and more videos like this every single week. I hope, I pray, I'm gonna try. But thank you guys for watching. Y'all guys have a great day. Thank you.